Moving on to the floor in the tool trailer. So I put a couple pieces out. That's what we're working with. Uh, it is a gray wood looking luxury vinyl plank. Uh, cheap, I got it with some Menards rebates at the good old Menards in Beloit. And uh, yeah, so it didn't cost me anything. Uh, we put in all the cabinets first and then we're gonna put the floor down in between everything so that in a couple years time when I'm sure that stuff will be beat, we can just rip it out, buy some more luxury vinyl plank because I'm sure that's not going out of style, chuck it back in, it'll be good as new again. Um, I also like that like when we have muddy sites or wet sites, like right now we have a foot of snow on the ground so when we're in and out of the trailer, uh, boots are wet, snow falls off. At the end of the day, I can just kind of like dry everything up and I'm not soaking the actual trailer subfloor. So uh, a couple perks there, but yeah, we're gonna set up a time lapse and I'm gonna start running this out behind me. It's five total boxes, which I know has some overage in it because there's lots of goofy cuts. So it shouldn't take too long. Let's uh, Let's jump into it. Oh man! So I seem to remember buying this flooring and uh, when I was buying it I was going to build a long tall cabinet here that I was going to store the three vacuums in and then I changed my mind and I built this little cubby over here and when I built that cubby I forgot that probably those one two three pieces plus a little bit up, up by the air compressor is what I need to finish here. So I actually ran short, so I'll be going to Menards to pick up one more box, but otherwise we have some floor in. So starting to really, really look like something now. Zoom out a little bit, ultra wide, there we go. So yeah, now we've got, uh, we got some progress. So I'm gonna pick up another box of flooring tonight stain out whatever's left here up front and uh, call it a day. I also built a little tiny cubby thing for um, primer, uh, cement, and plumber's putty. Not that I use it a ton, but it is nice to have as a just-in-case. So I figured I'd make a little thing for that, so I'll get that guy stained out white tonight. And then I built this little cubby for cleaning supplies, so we use TSP a lot when we're painting. Uh, this stuff I think I've mentioned before is uh, really good for paint cleanup and then just some fantastic with bleach for killing the Coronas. Windex is good at cleaning everything. Uh, dish soap for washing up our hands when we have water and then this stuff for when we don't have water. So a little spot to kind of keep those up and out of the way. Um, and keep as much stuff off of the bench as possible. So that's gonna wrap up the uh, flooring video. I'm not gonna wait around and hang on to the footage and then lose it or miss edit it. I'm just gonna put it together the way it is right now and get it out on YouTube and then I'll just tidy up these last couple things and uh, you guys can see that it's finished when 
we get into trimming, which is gonna be the next video. So I think I'm gonna end up doing some crown molding to cover my wiring harness. I've got some cove mold that will fit really nice up in this little gap. And then I've got to do some custom stuff for where the wiring harness comes down up front and stuff. So stay tuned for those videos and subscribe if you haven't already. We've still got a little bit left to go in the tool trailer before the remodel is totally done, but we're definitely getting closer. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.